Hello everyone, how is it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I will guide you through the process of creating a multi-step form in Flutter using the built-in stepper widget, right? So if you're eager to learn this exciting build, I encourage you to subscribe, like, and share this video. So, with that said, let's jump right in. So in here, I have my app here that's written the multi-step form, right? Which is a stateful widget beneath it. So for now, it's an empty scaffold. That's why you're seeing a white screen over here so let's start creating um a variable to host the user input right so i'm going to name this variable as the first name controller for getting the user first name and that's going to be test editing controller that's going to be the type so i'll create three more times the second one is going to be the last name controller that's for handling the user's last name and also we need the email controller for handling the user email and lastly the user's phone number so i need to provide the user's phone number over here there we go so within the scaffold let's start with an abba right so we provide an abba widget over here so the abba takes in the title so the title is is going to take in a test widget right so for now let's provide a test of multi-stepper a multi-step form so let's get rid of the cons in here and save any changes so the body of this scaffold will be returning the stepper widget right so the stepper is the built-in widget in flutter right for handling users um multi forms so you can see it requires a list of steps right so let's provide it the steps agreement so it requires a list of steps so i'll create a function that will return a list of steps right beneath it so in here the return type of the step is going to be a list of step and i'm going to name this function as get steps So in here you need to provide a get steps function to the stepper widget as a function there we go so in here you need to return a list right you're going to return a step as a return type over here so the get step function is going to return um the step widget right that is in the title and the content so with the title let's set the title for the first one for this first step to be the name right so with the content let's start with a column right there we go so within the column it is in the children where you can specify less of widgets in here since we'll be dealing with the users input right so the first widget of this column is going to be the test form field so let's provide it a test form field and the test form field is in the controller so the first one you're going to assign it a first name controller and also it is in the decoration right so we provide an input decoration so let's set the label test to first name and also provide it a border to be an outline input border so we can have that round shape around the test form field so let's save any changes over here there we go as you can see the first step right so let's add one more test form field beneath this right so this the controller is going to be changed um the label test is going to be changed to the last name and also we assign it a controller of um the last name controller there you go so let's provide some spacing between the two test form field right you can do that using the pattern or the sized box right so We'll be using the size box over here so let's provide a size box and provide a height of 10. let's include that a little bit so let's include that to 20. there we go so i think that's pretty much it so i need to copy the step one more time and repeat it over here for the next form right so i'll get rid of the second form so in here you need to have access to only to the email so i'll provide it the email controller and the label test is going to be our email so the title of this step is also going to change to email right so let's refresh it there you go so the title of this test is also going to change to email field so we need one more step and that's going to handle um our phone number controller right so i'll just paste that in here and change that to a phone number field 
So in here, we need to provide it our phone controller, right? And the label test is also going to change as well to our phone number. There we go. Let's see if we change how to refresh it. So you can see we have our multi-step form, right? So let's add functionality to the continue and also the cancel button, right? You can see the step will be testing a list of steps, right? So you just create a function that return three steps, right? And three steps, we gave it um a content of our test form for, for getting the easiest input, right? So that's what basically we are doing here, right? So let's add functionality to the continue and also the cancel button. So we have um on step cancel, right? So it's basically a function over here. So here we can make a check over here. So let's first of all create a variable to hold the current step of the stepper rigid, right? And the current step is going to be of type int, right? It requires an integer. So we provide it zero to be an initial value, right? So we check if our current step, if our current step is greater than zero, then we set it and increase our current step. Oh, sorry. And we, we decrease our current step over here. Then we move on to the on um, step continue. When the user clicks on the continue, right? Let's first of all check whether we are on the last step, right? So I'll create a variable over here and the variable name is going to be its last step. And that's going to base on our current step. Then we make a check if that is equal to, then we get our current step length and subtract one from it. That basically, um, determine whether we are on last step, right? So we check if is last step then you handle whatever you want to do in case you're on the last step right you navigate or do whatever you want to do over here so i'll just return um an alert dialog over here right so i'll just show a dialog and in showing the dialog takes in the context and also the builder and the builder in here is a function that takes in the build context this in the build context right so in here we need to um return an alert dialog Right. We need to return an alert dialog over here. Let's provide it a title. And the title is going to take in a text of form submitted. And also the alert dialog also takes in um the content, right? So let's provide it a content. So it's also going to take in a text as well, right? So we can give it any message. Maybe your form has been submitted successfully. For instance. So it also takes in the actions. We are going to put that's just an array of widgets. So we are going to provide it a test button widget, right? And the test button takes in the unpress and also the child. And the child we are going to it's going to take in the text of okay. So in here, when the OK is pressed, we need to pop up the context, right? So let's provide navigator to pop off context and get rid of the cons in here. There you go. So you can see the continue button right there. So this is a check to know whether we are on the last step, right? So if you are not on the last step, that's where it runs within the else statement, right? So else we continue increasing our current step until we reach the last step. So we set it. And just increase our current step so current step plus last let's see when the changes for here so in here let's provide um the current step to the stepper widget right it is in the current step so and that's going to be based on our current step so let's see when the changes and give it a try there we go you can see it from side cancel cancel there you go so the step also takes in an argument that's check whether it's active or not and that's a boolean but they can provide true or false so that's also a good way so that's basically it see you in our next tutorial until then stay tuned